Joel Berettas. Spinks with a flash in his hands. And away we go. Grenade right. on the door initially, but here it comes. Snap, he's going to have a lot to contend with here on ramp. He fires off some warning shots, but is being run down. Hot, his tail. Hot, hot on pursuit. And Snappy does get Goosh down to 6 HP. One expert favor to end, and perhaps this pistol will convince us further. Madden, lots of targets. Hold oh. his own. Oh, hold his own. Snappy. It's Snappy with two. Hades comes around the corner, and now all onto Mopoz. They are low. If he could just find Hades, Madden's closed the gap in vents. But Snappy pulls that out. They were running him down. This is Hades' duel to lose. So much damage. Oh, now I've out. Now I've out. Yes. Okay. Madden had a such low HP. If yeah, he had just taken slashed. a slash, could have been something. We've seen this before. Hades likes to get out this org to patrol the yard, right? Not a scout, an org. And then you've got an M4 in the hands of D Heart and a push hut from Madden here with an MP9 in hand. He's going to tuck on in. Play the close angle and a lot of Glocks to farm up here. So Ants could make a bit of money off this one. You heard uh, Snappy in the interview as well. He talked to Heku briefly. Ah, that's lovely. Two will do on the MP9. Sphinx to fill the gap. Davi G did manage to do something with that Glock, but they're running into Snappy's SMG and he's been working magic with this MP9 on Vertigo. He continues to uh, continue the trend. We know once we get onto that T-Half, d half can be a bit of a menace towards the yard position. Early smoke going to land. Front squeak door. Oppos with the HE to blow that one off. And an immediate denial of any positioning for some pious at ramp. This is aggressive from d half with Hades overlooking business with that org scope from range. Just chipping away through the smoke to lure them into d half's position. He's going to tuck up nice and tight under the silo here. Not the traditional position. He's not on the little barrel in the background. He's... Oh, actually leering forward here, Deha. This is an awkward angle he's adopted with the flash, the peak, the info. It's good. That is an opener for Deha early into the piece. That leaves you feeling frustrated if you're Alex. He was barely leaving spawn and a white screen and a quick frag out of Deha. It's just crazy how quick the last map went. And if they start in a massive hole here on the T side and they couldn't get going on the T side of the last one, it's going to be very, very rough to battle back in. But that's a good response there from Deaths. Had a great mirage. Probably one of the better Deaths performances we've seen throughout the Pro League. And no better time to turn it on than the quarters. You're in the playoffs now. It's 1-1. One, one. Deha. Deha. Nearly gets caught. Nearly gets caught. Still stands. So keep it level. Manages to get his crosshair onto deaths. Fake utility really drew him in there. Was not expecting the crawl yard at all. And coming through main, 30 seconds left. Down the vent, Madden goes. It's going to be on Spinks here towards the top site. Takes a look and takes a frag. Oh. Takes two for the price of one. He does go down, but Sun Bias booked with his knife out. And there you have a very convincing start for Ents. That was the AKs tested. The way they manufactured that opening kill just eventually spirals. I, I was thinking, yeah, it's a bit awkward for Deha. This isn't a position behind the box that you're going to stand in. Wait, because you'll be hoping for a silo drop off before a ramp progress. The fact Deha gets another kill here, yeah. which just was praising deaths for the trade on back, but they're making a meal of it and Spinks with a double up as well. Multi kills. Uh, really forcing riders down into the dumps here. Tech 9's 4, P251, smoke wall deployed, and away we go. Round number four, and Alex, he's hoping to get a bit more space this time round and looking to do exactly that. He is going to have very quick answers now. He's gone down secret. If Alex... Oh, he's not. He didn't think he'd be past the molly. He didn't think he'd be there. Alex has already got himself a huge leg up into this round. They didn't invest, but if they could just find one more. Snappy has Hades in support. Bomb delivery Bomb service. There and a missed shot out of the Hades orb. It's fine. Sphinx has been summoned and should be good for it. Lost in the smoke for a second, and Alex continues to make this competitive. What is going on? This one's on. Mopus is on one HP, so he needs to be extremely careful here. Imagine cratering on the way down. Okay, what can he do with this? Heaven wouldn't be a bad play, right? Because the AWP is towards lower. Madden is coming in on a bit of a timing here. Ooh. Alex is in the blind spot right now. Alex He's knows. Prepared. Gotta have this. Gotta have this. Madden better. Just on the, the goosh, sweep. You? you just yeah. see the goosh there. The no head armor. Didn't have a chance. Screen just jumping and the Mopos 1 HP clutch would be something spectacular. It's on hot pursuit here. He just looked away. Oh my god. Should have this with the pistol, and does.
Headshot for style points, I suppose. Trying to throw that M4 back, and uh, Madden couldn't get there in time to pick it up. So they will have to reinvest right there. Madden can hold on to this MP9 if he would like. But now some pirates can get out his AWP on the other side of things. And you can see here that Molotov, it lands top secret. I think the scale of the progression that Alex had gone for was quicker than Dihar was ready for. And that was a way that made this round interesting. So a good chance for riders now. Yeah, that was promising. That's uh, signs of life. You can see ends of love and life in the fan cam section, as well as in the server. Lots of mollies here, the extinguish, and <laughs> Sphinx jumping over the top. He's going to get himself tucked on in close towards the squeaky door, but Mopas has found Dihar through the smoke. So an opener manufactured through bullets alone. And now all five pivoting back towards Yard here. So first smoke to progress to the red box, at least they're going to get this room. Uh, I suppose they could throw the remainder on the fly here. They're all congregated. If they were to boost, Hades has them. He can jiggle out on the cross back. Second wall of smokes is dropped. Does catch a glimpse of one. The only info is one. But they still transition quite aggressively down silently. Sphinx will hear all of this. He knows the final commitment, the vent rotate. On lock, he actually catches it, bounces off his head, and they don't even know. Some Pius did not hear that. And now Mobby Star Riders just completely dilapidated. There's nothing left of them. An odd turn of events puts us in a 2v3 with 30 seconds. Alex to try and be the hero. Snappy pulls his crosshair away. It's one. Mopos to come up clutch, and Hades is having none of that. Chad Birchall's got the weather. Uh, Sphinx's position caught them completely off guard because Deaths, instead of watching the vent, was helping the team entry into the lower side. The Molotov was meant to corral the vent rotation, but because Sphinx, Sphinx didn't show himself, right, they had no idea that he could be there so quick. That's the difference maker, because Sphinx immediately kills some pirates who's posted up towards ramp. That enables the push on down from the CTs, and the trades just fall in their favor. It just comes down to that little detail. Wow. And it is odd there that the bottle of flame released from the hands of Death doesn't actually catch either the sound cube, potentially those comms going on or it doesn't get any visuals on Sphinx because he stepped out into that it must have just been off with the timing but that's a 5-0 and o start right now this uh, Movi T-side lockout you were prophesizing or at least suggesting does seem very real now admittedly though ends with the pistol and its conversion they have taken them back down into a half by very loudly makes it just as the smokes do fade perhaps trying to bait for more pods but madden's going to be far too wise for their silly reindeer games they still have a, a, a molly and a flash here to get in towards this lower site but that's the best no smoke so they need to hope they can find a kill and look at snappy's position he's tucked on in towards the windows a very passive line oh very yeah like this one is filthy i do not envy alex as he clears through Gives them nothing. We'll have to eventually. Oh, great catch. Davy G punishes Snappy. Lingering and overthinking. And now with his half by, they have the side chat. Some Pius has found Madden in the vents. This is it. That's the frag. He's just shy of the hip. Need deaths to finish this. He has to find this frag and has. Rifle falls into his hands and they still have the man advantage. i would be a save and it is. They're just going to back on off. It's crazy how that one fell apart. I, I, I'm not quite sure how that one fell apart so quickly there. They came through the single door before the utility was thrown towards ramp. The window was broken. Snappy was still glued towards that position, but David G's already come out behind them. So the odd scaling of riders has actually profited in this one and they're going to walk away with their first rounds here. Oh, there's a confidence boost. You can build on that. You can build off that. If you can just demonstrate to yourselves, you can do it with the rifles now. Show that Ents can bleed. Show that Ents can look silly. Look at this door opening. So Davidji hits it very quickly. As the glass is breaking, he just sees a big bottom sticking out, and it could have got worse. If he slipped through, Alex... Um... Regardless, they can buy back in. Ents, if they lose another consecutive round, riders will have them right where they want them. What's the call? You can see intent from their positioning. It's the same opening, right? They molly top heart and they throw out the smoke to land front squeaky. That's always going to put the question mark of event rotation, event drop, event pop. Hey, he's aggressive now. Initiative being taken here. 
Yeah, he wants to punish this lobby presence and all we didn't choose to engage. He may have not have spotted him either. They saw a bit though, didn't he? And with some sound cues, they've done this a lot. So the riders aren't going quick towards Yard. They're waiting, walking into the orb. Mopos goes down. That is an opener that they've given away here. Oh, you've lost Mopos and now you've lost Lobby. Into CT side, one to fear. A second Molotov invested into Diha's secret stairs. And the whole squad are on their way. Smokes are going to be fading any second here. They're going to be in the open. Yep. Oh, no one's looking. It is Madden towards CT spawn. If they want to crawl around his position, this box is difficult to check. Pack rolling mentality here. They kind of have to with Lobby dead. And Madden's actually backing up. Look at this. Oh, what an angle. You're going to be very frustrated to go down to that one. Now another duel, this time too much to ask, but you've only got yourselves hell. Bit of warehouse control, lobby a question mark. Look at the CT's positions, they're everywhere. It's going to be a real maze you have to traverse if you want to get to a site safely. Lobby cleared again. Diha has ramp. Flash into the top site's not a bad answer. It's Hades that's... Probably not going to be too punished by that. Spotted, missed, and slapped. Big one from Davi G on the descent. In the hut. Snappy, good for it. And now to try and contest that plant. Oh, some bias close, but no cigar. Six now for Ents. They made something out of that, right? After they lose that lobby fight early and then Madden gets one back, you, you think they're going to have a harder go of things right there, but they do make a round out of it, Riders. Unfortunately, not getting the bomb down, but there's enough money to buy off the back of their earlier success with just the pistols. Now... Yeah, Madden getting one there. The flash in the top was great, and it kind of turns into... Ents the ones who are having a fight their way on in. Dehart gets himself into an MP9. He has the worst weapon in the round. Loud Smoke's lined up again here. Alex is forward, and so is Dehart. This could be the initial exchange up and over the box. Dehart hasn't spotted him, and Alex should have him dead to rights. It's a big opener. The equalizer. Rashly expecting Snappy. He's got the whole squad coming to his area of the map. Gets info, sticks around, tries to pluck ahead, and that's been punished. Davi G, a sharp shooter. I know that Hades was lower with the AWP, but he's still focusing on secret. That's where Alex showed himself moments ago. And they're actually backpedaling. They're not continuing towards the lower side. Up, through towards the lobby. Sphinx is in the heavens. Well, no, in hell, actually. It might be feeling that way soon if they just walk in towards A. Doors are being opened and closed, so audible's available here. And if Madden comes up the vent and the door is blown off, he will be dead. Oh no, this can go wrong. This really can go wrong. Up the vent with his back turn. Some Pius is next. Death does get Sphinx. And that can be the round. Death has found both crucial frags there. Yeah, that, that really could have got wrong, couldn't it? Oh, Coming I could out the door. So many ways. You could see why Madden was waiting in the vent because he was waiting for that smoke to come out from Sphinx. If that was moments earlier, they would have been locked on out and they might have had to have headed back towards the ramp position, but that has now broken and something that the Movistar Riders were not able to do. Just juggling some nades. You know, he doesn't need them. The second one, lucky if your death's there, right? You, yeah. you can't get an easier kill, so beautiful stuff from him. But this is, yeah, as I'm saying, this was what the riders were not able to do on Vertigo. They weren't able to break through and force Enter's money to go down like this. They would keep losing rounds like you had just seen. So this is a massive leg up. Shotgun in heart. The next step is getting through the scary force buys with unpredictable CT aggression. Yeah, you'd hate to convert that round and then lose to this, wouldn't you? This should almost be the third confirmed. And if they pick up this round, almost the fourth, because it will have to be an end to eco, a virtue of the loss bonus. And you know you're going to be mollied back here, Diha. It's happened a couple of times, and he's happy to sit and wait. So corralling Diha, he can't do a whole lot. Hey, Good Molly. tickled. Yeah, and they know he has to be wide now for the clear. Oh, Davi G, he just goes down. Didn't expect oh. it. Hades, two on the dig. Real problems. Real problems for this T side. He's got the bomb carrier loose. He's got his back turned, and Alex is his next victim. Damage done. 2v4. Mopoz, he's made of stern stuff. Hasn't been able to manufacture the chaos he usually thrives within. And now D has just got the info. He's got the damage, and he's got the cross there in the right place. Sphinx has been spotted out in hut. This can still go wrong. Yeah, very much. Now Heaven's a problem. A big problem. 
Mopo's nice angle, could be able to just tap that head. The Deagle's too much and he's been overrun. Look at that, disaster strikes and four players still alive for Rents. Oh yeah, they should take their time and go and collect some of these guns. Jay, the gun watcher, he uh, enjoys a gun or two, sees that one has been lost down the slink of silo, but uh, just trying to grab back what they can for Madden. Uh, where did you kill him, Hades? We, we need these guns back, my friend. Well, that was the first, and this was the second. Beautiful stuff there, even a little bit more damage done. This is the silo kill with that gun dropping on down, and ah, uh, you can see exactly. It's Mopoz into that MAC-10. The rest with the AK-47s, plenty of utility to splash into whatever type of formation they'll be looking for. Him. They're setting up for a top pop. I, I think some Pius is going to molly towards the back of the site. And they're going to try and explode into Madden and Sphinx's domain. All right. Madden's going to have to reload shortly. 14 bullets left on that. Even less now as they leap through down the vent. Going ramp. Opos has gone for it and gotten down successfully. No, back to the turn. Good trade. Davidji's in. Dehag should be able to cage them, but Flash and Molotov off. They can descend, and Mopoz is cleaning up. He got two on their vent hold. Finally falls. Hades confirmed to be on the low side of the map. At the window break. Knows Alex can be close. Molotov pushes push. him forward, leads this duel. Alex stands vigilant. And now the bomb is down, but Deher is too. He's coming single. And he's ready to mingle. Two above. Door opened. And thinking better of it, some pious even has his exit. Lovely. Could not ask for more for Movi. Yikes. Well, they're going to be back down to what might be another Ents force by here. This would be a good time for Ents to take a timeout, just to have the discussion. And, and I'm not quite sure why they've both rotated down Vent. I, I suppose they're unaware that Mopoz has taken this space. This would be the only reason you'd rotate two players Vent like that. You, they must not know that he made it down. I thought that there was enough tells there that that was possible. It wasn't immediately out the gates, but by getting so much space, he cuts off the rotation. And there he is, Smuya, the man himself. Co-streaming this one, you know how you can join on in iem.gg slash fancam, but back under where we go. Sphinx is burnt on down to 50. Two M4s in play here. They've done it once, but they do it again here, and can they hold the wolf at the door? Oh, it looks like they may. Davy G silence, just a well-placed crosshair through the smokes. Deher is a demon on yard. And he's gonna make it clear. Oh my god, it could have been three. Two and a half though from the pole, and here's number two. Back is turned. Alex is just taking some serious assumptions, and this falls flat. Yeah, they put both of the rifles in yard, and you can see exactly why here. There's been so many smoke walls from riders, right? It's been a consistent theme. The round that worked for them was a top pop with uh, misdirection, heading towards Snappy's domain of ramp, but now it's down to some pious and Mopons to make this one a meal. Just not expecting them both. The position of Mopoz is tidy, right? If somebody wants to rotate back up ramp or from hell in towards ramp, Mopoz could punish them. But the fact it's only two of them, they don't have a lot of pieces to pull them around. Hades starting to sniff him out now. Up the ladder silently. If Sampias opens the door, it could turn the backs and allow Mopoz to come on down. They're running out of time. Oh, missed opportunity. Molly will force the fight though. Here comes Mopoz. Snappy. Should burn. Doesn't, doesn't burn. No spread, no punish. Robbed of that one. And oh, Snappy gets the frag as well. Immortal Snappy. And one HP for Mopoz. Quite the contrary for him as he gets run down. Eight secure and a one defense. Nice upgrade for Snappy, but it does feel like nothing is going right for the Riders. Yeah, it's likely they go again, right? They can afford Mopoz one more time, can get himself into something a little bit lighter and try and find that space. But this is the thing. The consecutive rounds are essential. We have ping pong. We have had a rally of back and forth rounds here since round number five. It has just gone back and forth up until this point to get us to an 8-3 scoreline. If it continues like this, it could actually be a pretty respectable half for the Riders. They might walk away with five. That's a big if. Not going to be throwing resources to Yard this time. I don't know if they're going to rotate down the vents again either, right? If you're aware that you guys get mincemeated by that MAC-10 previously, you might want to avoid that point of rotation. This time it's a Deagle for Deaths and a Galil for some Pius. That MAC-10 out again. It's that glass cannon MAC-10, our, uh, fa our favorite. The Mopoz special. It is the Mopoz special. If they do a top exec again here, Right? They might follow through this time, because last time they did it and went ramp. This time they could follow through and try and put pressure on towards the A site. Sphinx is here. Yeah, that 
Molotov's not going to do much. Madden exchanges it with a smoke, but here comes a commit. Bodies are converging onto the site. Spinks so blind, but still sticking around on the vent. Need him now. He could get two. Death silenced. Madden's still on that CT vent. Backs are turned. Bodies are dropping. Dihas just hiding in the smoke. And now on the reload, Sun Pius is next. Hades misses it. Not for long. And oh, Alex is completely disconnected from the pack. Finds himself in yard, but his team have left the round, round 12, looking imminent for a ninth for Rents. Oh, pick of the line as well. Snappy doesn't miss those. Big shot from him. 14 kills for Snappy, leading the server right here. The in-game leader showing up in a massive way. Running away with his half now, R. Ants, and it will have to be an eco or a half by scenario coming out of the riders. They're actually going to start investing lightly again. Tech nines, Mac tens, some util. See if they can have that pace to manufacture themselves away on into this round. But finally, that spree of back and forth has been broken. Same util being dropped. Mopoz smoking in front of Squeaky. Going ramp, snappy. You got another chance at this. It's his favorite. They're running straight into his spray. There's more to come. Snappy just ending the round right here and now. Four kills on the spray, and the round again is over in the first 10 seconds. Mopoz wants to change the dialogue, but that is all snappy. And it continues to be. He'll take it. The full ace as he shuts down Movistar Riders and takes a leap. It's 19 frags. Five kills added to his tally of the last round. Movistar Riders back to the drawing board. He made here. Silo to punish, but just an info for Hades. Yeah, that one did sail and chipped down Alex to 79 points of health. They have been doing these late smoke walls. So by Deha playing forward like this and they're going back to do it again, he should be able to rumble this early. If he gets two kills from an unlikely position... Oh, he's pushing again. Hades got the flash. It, 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 the flash again. Pushes the dry peak. Look at this, oh. Nade in your hand. Oh my God, Damage has to cancel. He is caught by Sun Pius, an important frag, but they are low and they're coming into Hades warehouse domain. Sun Pius on towards main roof. A noisy, he'll hear all of this. Three down secret as he counts the steps. Lobby, ooh, it's still held. Death's an important frag. We got two lower right now. And Hades has been shut down. Madden, nearly three. But Snappy, the hero of the format. The bomb's here, the bomb's here, Snappy. He doesn't know, he's lost them. He's gonna run into this. No idea at all. Knife out. St. Pius is ready, and that will be four. So some peculiar rounds in this first half. That one really did just kind of slice the dominoes to fall. This was Madden. Yeah, and the thing is, like, he wow. deals with those so quickly. You can see the assist there from Dio is going to be feeling a little bit hard done by that he didn't get a kill out of that. Snappy wasn't aware that the bomb was on the ground, because if he was, he might have played that one a little bit differently. But that's four. Five would feel real good here. It really would, wouldn't it? See how far they can get into this before frags start being found. It's a yard fake right now. They're just immediately heading back towards A to set something up here. St. Pius again in this roof position. Davy G lining up the smoke to land front squeaky door again. Mopoz is going to try and slink on down, I do believe. Okay, let's see if this uh, El Toro nickname can be fitting for this last round. Sphinx loves to jump on into the fight. Keeps Mopos guessing as he tries to track where those bullets are going to come from. He's coming through. Right past him. Sphinx in the smoke. Somehow not dead. How is he alive? There's more. One from the rafters. Snappy farms up his 20th and there's no rebuttal. They'll play for the retake. Battered. Bruised. Lobby the responsibility of some pious. Hades crawling in. Davy G does stop Snappy, but not before he pays the second frag. Last round and a man advantage for this retake. A couple of flashbangs. That's the smoke. Gap, perhaps. Yes, Alex has one. Some pies can play passive. Heaven a threat. Last few flashes in. Big one from Davy G. And they focus their attention now on main. The smoke should enable Alex as well to finish off Sphinx, and he has. Just Hades and no time for this 1v3. A sigh of relief for Drink. Big round, though. Let's see. Lots of util. Snappy's getting geeky with it. Yeah, they have a smoke. Hey, Chi, three flashes and a molly to make this one work. And not a fast-paced maneuver. The 1x bet odds are favoring Ents here. Some heart molly being lined on up. Deployed and Davy G to be tested on ramp. Davy G. He hears them. Instantly Immediately dropped. Immediately gives them the space. Coming fast. Charging in. Bit of a repeat of the previous pistol. Can they handle it in the same way? Not as much bloodshed initially. Doors are open. Down. Mom is down. Moppers has the smoke kit. Protect the VIP and knock the head off of Deha. Big scalp to take, more required. Madden in the close corner. Has Spinks. 
for the backstab. Doors are closed. Isolating the jewel, and they're stubborn with it. Three on three. Mopoz did go down. The kit is on the floor. And more bodies to come soon. Madden finds the head of deaths. Needed to see a trade out of Alex, and they have no bullets, but he hasn't got the frag. Finish the job. He gets time for the fresh clip. Oh, no. Falling apart at the seams for the Movistar Riders and not clear in their corners. Snappy happy to post a 22nd. I like that you point that out there that Mopoz has gone down with the kit. That was as he was trying to rotate. Hades actually picked that one up. So the smoke and the kit dropped on the upper side. There was no way for them to go back and get that. They just didn't have that chance to do it. And they stole them out here perfectly. They don't overrun the issue here. And they get control of their stairwell. It's a key piece of real estate to have. And they don't push too far forward, especially after that D-hard death. So massive. Both pistols for Ents now as they look to close this one out in style. A buyback in from Riders could be their demise. They forced a scout for some pious, three Deagles, an MP9, and Alex getting tricky with it. Across towards Secret he goes. Deha is an absolute menace towards this yard position. There is a gift in the form of info. Alex will eventually be able to announce that there is no one down Secret for off the back of these smokes. But it's a question of how the other pieces move and maneuver. With that in mind, Alex burn. burnt out. Oh, 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 it's not spreading. This is fine. He's very fortunate wow. to be alive. That molly was designed for him. Uh, that info now goes even further in the direction of riders. Not only do they know nobody's down, they know that that Molotov uh, gives them more information that a player thinks it is clear, right? So, so this is fantastic work. They have to build upon it. Mopoz, already scathed, needs to find cover. Util's been dropped. Bodies are encroaching on the site. Tries to draw fire. Good shots. Real good shot out of Dest. Cannot build upon it. They are into the site now. Not the retake package you'd like. MP9, Mag 10, a tanked up scout player. They're planting for him. Nice he... flash. This needs to be a frag. Davy G does not deliver. And now again, the bomb can go down, but a whole lot less threatening without the flash and the push. I want to be a save here. Sapphire's already backing off. Alex the same, and that was so close. The back and forth nature of that one right there. Snappy saves him. He's yes. having a game. He's having one of those snappy <laughs> classics. 24 kills now. Wow. I mean, you know, with Snappy, it is where he is one of those leaders where it's all or nothing. You know, he'll he'll definitely be middle of the pack sometimes, but he started this game with a bit of a scream up and ends this series with a 24 and 8 haul. Even think about Vertigo, just he was standing in aim mapping. Yeah. He was just taking fights. I checked his ADR for just the CT side. 130 ADR on that CT side. That's a kill and a half. It was a menace, and I think in probably 50% of the rounds, he had an MP9. Yeah. So uh, just a force here within this quarterfinal and the semi-final that they'll be setting themselves up for will be the winner of tonight's game, Liquid versus NIP, your 7 p.m. fixture for yourself Pro League Season 15. But a great one there, and that snappy kill, it bowed them out. That was the kill of the round, and we might get this again. Here he is, the ah. jumping Mac 10 Yeah, using its mobility, and here comes the flash snap. He's blind, and he's jumping around and gets his vision back in time. Okay. Beautiful stuff from Snappy there, as the Riders did save. A scout at least, a deagle as well, and well, Alex was able to pick up a Mac 10 so it's something to work with here. Certainly not nothing, but how far will something get you? Deha's already goes. across. Down he goes. Alex is accounting for him again here. He's rotated lower. He's got a buddy in the form of Davy G, and uh, Sphinx has already taken down Mopoz, so any excitement you might be having for this one quickly being drained from the bank balance and deaths. Oh, another opportunity goes awry. Just falling into place for Ents, isn't it? Just as Alex arrives to clear it out, he goes straight through, perhaps to exploit, but they're watching you and Madden's posted it. Ents just going through the motions now. Yeah, this is going to be rough. This is going to be very, very rough. The fact that they've been able to get the pistol with the conversions, silver platter for Ents right now. This is their map to lose. Davy G and some pious just trying to see if they can get anything on the way out the door. Davy in the vent, in a reposition now to look up secret. And, and some pious is actually holding on to the scout over towards CT spawn. So curious that he's holding on to this. You can see right now, if you look at the bottom right hand side of your screen, he has 3550. With the loss bonus, he should be able to afford an AWP, no dramas. It's 2900 into his bank balance in the next. And there goes Davy G. Hades will execute. They retain four rifles, an AK and three Galils, as well as the MAC-10 in the hands of Deha here. So everybody staying alive builds a buffer for Ents. If they want to go for a classic bonus round here, this is the potential knockout blow. Sampaias so has opted to stay onto the scout. So if they do lose this round, he will have an AWP in the next round of play. That would be one of their only ways back in from a 14-5 scoreline.
You really gotta cross all your fingers and toes if you are a Movistar Rider fan or Stan. Their margin for error has been ripped out of the server. Smokes are out from ends. Deher continues his adventures. No support on Silo. Alex safe to spray. It's a fake again here, and it looks like uh, Enter the one setting up for a top pop. Utility being lined up on the roof here. More smokes being deployed to hold them at bay towards Squeaky Door. Snappy lining up the smoke for main. So this looking very likely to be a, a set piece towards top here. Minute 15 on the clock. What's the go? Use that bonus. Use those Galils and MAC-10s. Here they come. Util sailing through the sky. Mopos with a reactive smoke. Needs to survive. Deha one. Mopos using that smoke very effectively. Only the one, though. They keep a lid on it. Scout in the feed. That's big from Pius. He's gone now, too. Swinging through. Alex does nothing with it. And 14 secure on the bonus push. Well, so much cash now as well for Renz. Movistar ride is quite the opposite. It's not like they were lacking bodies on the side to defend against that either. Right? They had plenty of players there. They weren't out position. Normally, you'd see them get locked out and expect to save here. But just trying to manufacture a gap on through, it was Mopos around that smoke. Not enough. And the Ants fans are going to be happy with this. So close to closing this one out now. The Riders can buy back in some pious, as prophesized, has gone for that AWP. The big red button has been hit. Can he find more traction with that than he did the scout? You know, some great stats on the AWP in groups. Seems the water's a little hotter here in the playoffs. Grant Punish just going to Davi's domain. He is very fall heavy, is Davi, but right now committed. He has to stand and fight. No way out. This has to be frags. Uncleared. Perfect. Snappy does go down. Looking to build a second and able to do so. Some Pius is not allowed to retreat. The flames finish him. Madden slowed him in the Molotov with a tag. A big frag from Hades. Death looking the wrong way. How does it go down like this? And they know where he is. Mopoz has the bomb, has some util, and has to think this one through. They know where he is. Well, at least good idea as to where he may have disappeared too. This is a quick pivot. For around the world, they're not, they are planting for single. He has sprays, he knows they're both there. Oh. 15 secure, 10 series points for the semi-finals. Ents have got this one on lock. They just read Mopoz like a book. They were very prepared for that little maneuver right there, trying to go around the world. We know Mopoz is a tricky type of player, right? Loves the misdirection, loves to play those cheeky games. With a great one there from Dihar to deny any of rotations and close us things down, even bullets into the corpse for good measure. And the yells continue from Madden as they can smell at the semi-final weights. Turning this uh, Spanish side of the stage into somewhat of a library. Loud and indeed proud. And has got 10 opportunities, and they want to finish it right here, right now. Alex up against D. Hurt. It lands a dink and thinks better of a commitment. They're going ramp again. Avi G. All to play for here. The things will clear him. Oh, and it's as easy as that. Doesn't even pull the trigger. Straight towards B as well. So much utility. Smoke the doors. Molly, get it all in. This round should be done. Last legs then for Movistar Riders. Undefeated in qualification, but here in the quarters, they need someone to step up. Mopoz, no armor. Sprayed down. Just Sun Pius and Deaths and Ents. They got this one on lock. 26 frags at the top of the scoreboard. Leading by example is Snappy, and it's done.